Hello friends, in this video, I am going to discuss Is it crime to have sexual relation with someone else's wife? Sexual intercourse with a married woman or the extramarital sex, commonly known as adultery. Adultery is a punishable crime as it is objectionable and offensive on religious, social, moral or legal grounds. So in this video, I will discuss the adultery. Let's start with the first question that is, what is adultery? The literal meaning of adultery is having voluntary sexual intercourse with a married person who is not his or her spouse. Now the next question is, what is the legal aspect of adultery? In Hindu law, adultery is one of the substantial grounds against which the aggrieved spouse can seek the divorce. Further, it is defined in section 497 of Indian Penal Code as whoever has sexual intercourse with a person who is and whom he knows or has reason to believe to be the wife of another man without the consent or connivance of that man. Such sexual intercourse not amounting to the offense of rape is guilty of the offense of adultery. Now the next question is what is meaning of the definition given ever? This definition has the following essential points. Sexual intercourse with a married person before having sexual intercourse, the person knows she is wife of another man and there is no consent or connivance of her husband. Now, the next question is, what is the nature of such crime? As defined in the section 497 of Indian Penal Code, adultery is not amounting to the offense of rape, but it is a punishable offense. Now the next question is, what is the punishment for adultery? As defined in the section 497 of Indian Penal Code, the offence of adultery shall be punished with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to five years or with fine or with both. Note, as per the section 497 of Indian Penal Code, in case of adultery, wife shall not be punishable as an abater. Now, the next question is, what is the limitations of an adultery? Following are the significant features of adultery under section 497 of Indian Penal Code. It doesn't confer upon the wife to prosecute the woman with whom the husband has committed adultery. It means an aggrieved wife cannot take legal resort against the woman with whom her husband has sexual relation. Next, it doesn't confer upon the wife any right to prosecute the husband for committing adultery. It means the aggrieved wife cannot take legal resort to prosecute her husband. Last but not the least, it doesn't make an act of husbands having sexual relation with an unmarried woman an offense. So, based on all these facts and the given definition, the conclusion is the wife cannot prosecute her husband on the ground of adultery. But on this ground, she can file the petition for divorce. Next, the wife cannot prosecute the woman with whom her husband has sexual relation. Next. The wife who has the extramarital sex with any person who is essentially not her husband shall not be punishable as an abater. Last but not the least, only the man who made the sexual relation with a married woman who is not essentially his wife shall be prosecuted. Now the next question is, who can file the case of an adultery? Only an aggrieved husband can file the case of an adultery. Now the next question is, against whom the case of adultery can be filed? Such case can be filed only against the male adulterer by the aggrieved husband. Now the last question is, what type of offense an adultery is? An offense of adultery is classified as non-cognizable, believable, compoundable and 
ट्राइबल बाय मैजिस्ट्रेट ऑफ द फर्स्ट क्लास सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द एडल्ट्री